actually like get used to that view or is it still like it was gone within the first two weeks really but i still appreciate the view but it's not i don't i don't do the wow but some mornings i just go wow yeah i'm living a great life and i'm fucking grateful that's it i went like every morning i've been waking up and i've been looking at that view and thinking like it's gonna be a sick day and i'm gonna be so productive just just because like the motivation of like this whole place yeah, you know I, I mean? noticed that it's it's big. Like when I wake up and I see something like this, and like, yeah. there's no reason that I'm just gonna chill in my room and do nothing. Like I just I have to do something. Like I feel obligated. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm the exact same. No, like, but it's gratitude, bro. That's it. Like let's say when I wake up there, I just look. At, I just feel like you feel like obligated to to get stuff done because you can just see that there's opportunity out there. You know what I mean? We did this, man. If you look outside these windows, yeah. this complex alone with these five buildings, bro, yeah. there's like billions of dollars yeah. surrounded by us, right? Yeah, all of yeah, these yeah. buildings, all of the people that live in the building, bro, each of these things are worth like a million. Yeah. Bro, all these buildings and the fact that like, if you don't have the drive to chase after the money doing what you love, and it's literally all here, you see Lambos here, you see everything. That's it, yeah, we've seen a few Lambos while I've been in, haven't we? Like yeah. if you don't, if that doesn't motivate you, man, like, you're not doing what you love. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> and it's it's like, even though that's all like materialistic stuff, like it it does. I think like if if someone's aware of the opportunity out there, or, or someone that's sort of like on that level where they know that if they improve the cell like themselves, they can, you know, like they can really achieve what they want to achieve. But this all just adds to it. Do you know what I mean? Makes it there. Yeah. Right. Well, and it's not like so much. <coughs> Like, you're not doing this because of the money, but the money's helping you. And, like, I hate when people say, like, don't go out, don't just chase after the money, but sometimes you got to go after the money. Yeah. But as long as it's with what you want to do, like, chase after the opportunity, even yeah. if it's going to make, like, you know how, I feel like there's a stigma around that. Yeah, like, especially, m maybe not so much here, but in the Netherlands, like, money is sort of like a topic that you don't really talk about. Like, it's not mentioned. Like, if you go up to someone and say, like, how much you earn in pay month, like, people will get, like, either offended or really secretive about that. It's just some kind of... It's a topic that, that people just avoid. And, like, I don't know, I'm quite transparent with it. Like, if, if people, like... Yes, yeah. Yeah, like, if someone, I've shown them, like, a YouTube comment, like, ask, like, how much you want now or something like that. I'll probably not give like the exact number out just because yeah. I don't want to be that guy that brags about it. Right, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. But Especially like, on like YouTube, for example. Yeah, but like if someone within my like group or something says like, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll watch like revenues coming in from like this and this uh, like business venue, then I will like just give an answer because I don't think that we should be secretive about it. Like No, because you show people. Yeah, plus it doesn't define who we are. Like just because like we're on like a certain amount of money doesn't mean that we're a better person, you know what I mean? Oh, doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're happy either. No, well, because, like, you look at some people have all this money and, like, they hate their lives mm -hmm. and, like, they hate it. But it's actually kind of good when you do tell people. So I tell my friends from, like, high school because they don't believe, like, what I'm doing. They, like, yeah. how, like, what, wh how? Like, <laughs> they just don't even know how to respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I let them know just to be like, yo, like, I started this back in, like, March. Like, look at where I am That's now. It, like, how quick like you go. can do it. Yeah. Like, I'm not showing it to Bray because, like, look here, like, do we do we live like we ball out on money, bro? Like <laughs> we live like we're cheapos, bro. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, like, we just like like when we, what we what we said like a few days ago when you're walking through that business area and everyone's like in suits, everyone looks good, everyone's like. <laughs> and I was just like this. And we were just chill, like walking around, like literally like in our like gym gear, yeah. just walking around. And then like when I said to you, like you're probably on more money than everyone else yeah. here, but like you know, like, that's <laughs> it. Like, you don't necessarily need to need to like and be unlocked the path you know I mean that that does not necessarily yeah please that does not necessarily mean that you're successful yeah no because money is money you know yeah. money is only to me it's a tool so i can do what i love that's it it's a means to an end and not necessarily yeah. an end in itself yeah because yeah, like, like that. my whole and my best my favorite thing bro as soon as i make a million no one's gonna know you except for the people yourself? no except for like the people yeah, like yeah, yeah. i tell but like i'm not gonna be like millionaire or like no, like you wouldn't put any interest. It, it doesn't example. like define me, you know? Yeah. But I think the main thing, if you really like, because there is so much opportunity out there, like it's everywhere. Like, yeah. look, just look around, man. Even if you're on the street, man, there's a way to make money. That's it. Like, there's so much opportunity, especially, dude, you have a phone, like, whatever it is. Yeah. But I think you can only, like, fully take, like, fully commit to, like, possible opportunities 
if like you understand yourself and like you kind of get yourself figured out yeah you're grateful for like your situation and then oh, you definitely. go out there and take upon it yeah i think like self-awareness is key and i also like do you ever feel like that like even though because we're in this like bubble we sort of it feels like a lot of people know um like about the opportunity but if you take a step back like do you ever think like that we are like the like the one percent or like the ten percent that actually understand how much opportunity there is with like social media for example yeah because people say it and like you get those dms with people like oh i'm gonna start doing this but it's not until you actually start doing it yeah you have like some success and then you realize like holy shit i did that in this short amount of time and it's only gonna like exponentially yeah. get better that's it and i feel like like we are so lucky to be brought up in this generation because like i think like this is be, like be honest this is probably the easiest time to become a millionaire 100 percent. yeah like it's never been as easy as it is now and like everyone has the op opportunity to make it. a million like I'm, even if no matter your background bro yeah it doesn't matter where it you're from. literally doesn't matter That's at this it. point like i've 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 got coaching like i hate to say students but i've got people that do coaching calls with me from like india and like you know like even though like they're from like a third world country they're still like you know doing like entrepreneurial they've got entrepreneurial tendencies where like they're gonna start businesses but actually getting clients from overseas you know like it does not matter that that's they're from sick. india like you know what i mean like, it's social, not defining them that's it like social i think literally like we are so lucky and like obviously like me me and you are both like grateful for it but Bro, like, you're in fucking toronto that's man it. Like, <laughs> like, this would not be possible if you know what I mean? like <laughs> if social media wasn't there but we are so lucky to be like part of this generation and this like just be born in this era basically yeah and think? then i think as soon as you realize that and you understand that you match that with your why your why is so strong just be yeah. grateful for like whether you wake up with a view like this or whether you wake up in like a closet because you live with like 90 of your family members man yeah be grateful just because you have the potential that's it to like pursue an opportunity yeah okay, you know but wi-fi that's it that's all that's all you Literally. need to get started dude you don't have wi-fi go to the fucking library you don't have that's library, it. Yeah, bro. Free wifi find someone everywhere. who has yeah. data be like i need a hotspot you for like 30 minutes yeah and just do like there's so many ways like there's no matter how you look at it man you can do it definitely we are all lucky to be born during, during like this era i think cheers brother yeah hashtag lucky spam club <laughs> lucky sperm club because <laughs> what is it like one in 400 trillion <laughs> yeah something like that yeah <laughs> you come up with the first hashtag <laughs> what <laughs> lucky sperm club yeah skype close gang <laughs> and then <clears throat> riding the wave we're just making up hashtags here <laughs> that's legendary <laughs> There's gonna be a point where one of our like stupid sayings is gonna become like a trend and stuff. Like, you know? I want the Skype clothes gang to be a thing. Yeah, I think that should be a thing. Dude, I'm gonna tell this to you guys right here. <laughs> Skype clothes gang. If you're not closing your meetings on Skype, if you're still meeting people in person, that's it. Yeah, you're missing out. Skype clothes gang. Funny thing is, like, there's there hasn't been any business owner that has actually said like we object to Skype. They appreciate it. Yeah, they say, oh yeah, fine. Like, you know, because it's the way we wait, like, like we'll save you money, uh, time and money as well. By That's what you say? doing it through Skype. Yeah. Like, I've literally got one client that said like, um, you know, we'd like to invite you over. But it was more so, just so I could see the building more, see where, you know, see the whole like operations part oh, of it. It's good to go, yeah. for sure. But uh, meeting a client for the first time, I don't think it's worth going no, in person. Obviously, like if Skype. it's a big deal, like it's worth it. But yeah. I think your best bet is just honestly phoning them and all you present is like, yeah, I just want to save you as much time so we don't have to meet in person. We can accomplish what we would do in an hour in a meeting in 20 yeah. minutes on Skype. How does that sound? Yeah, that's it because like, you, you <laughs> get on smile. the call, you get right to the point. Yeah. And, you, know, you, you know the purpose of it. You, you don't, don't need to how go are you? Yeah. yeah, That's it. And like, I feel like if you're physically there, you feel obligated to make a bit of small talk. Um, yeah, because like, you're at yeah, the thing. Yeah. Oh, this looks nice. How are you doing? Yeah, oh, no, that's a nice photo. How you, was your trip? To, yeah, to blah, you know, blah, like, blah. Did you bump in? Like, did you get stuck in traffic? Stuff like that. Like on Skype, you. There's a time and place. The There's yeah. a time and place for that. But like, if you're just like, if they if they haven't paid you yet, man, give them just the time that you have to. That's, that's it, where yeah. I look at it. Yeah, because yeah, because your time is valuable. Like I think a lot of people also like, the the, don't value the time as much as they should. No, like they don't. That's why. Biggest thing, big, best chain, the 15 minute calls for $5. Yeah, that's a good, that's a Dude, good incentive. Though. The amount of booking, the l less amount of bookings I got yeah. dropped by like, I'd say 75% because of the yeah. $5 thing. But the people that do book it, 
yeah. they're serious. Like I got one in like 30 minutes, yeah. 15 minute call. I'm gonna provide as much value as possible. If he doesn't think, doesn't think it was worth it, I'll give him back his five dollars. Five dollars yeah. is irrelevant. Like what's five dollars? Yeah, that's it. It's just like it's, just, it's like a sort of like. If they miss it, it doesn't matter. I got yeah. five bucks. Yeah, that's. If they it. come, great. We made a good connection. Yeah. Plus, it's like they've invested in it, so they wanna like you know what I mean they're serious about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's like one of the main like. Um, I was really debating whether to, to bring out digital products for free because like to, like the social media marketing agency that is my main source of income and like I really do want like help people like sort of achieve the same so I have for, for a long time I was debating like giving out digital products that people would normally uh, charge, charge for. for give it for free but then like um, you, it's just your YouTube then at that point that's how I look at it true but it was also like uh, like explain to me that because it's free people will perceive the value as mm-hmm. free yeah whereas if they pay for it they'll be much more inclined they're to gonna grab action. the book they're gonna start writing and stuff if yeah. it's something free people don't do like I know when I first started like YouTube videos I used to take notes on like every single YouTube video yeah now I only take notes on YouTube videos like if I actively like search up a specific thing yeah. not if i'm just watching because to me that's just like yeah knowledge just coming through yeah, yeah 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 essentially but like yeah. if i buy anything or even if it's like five dollars man like laser focused and like you that's t- it because you you value it more that's it you've paid for it so you want to actually benefit from it the perceived value of value yeah that's it like yeah exactly. <laughs> what does yeah. that even mean <laughs> no, well, I, I, i'm on it i, I, get yeah, it. I think i confuse yeah. myself but it makes sense <laughs> like what is the perceived value yeah. of value like that's like <laughs> wait does that make sense i know exactly what <laughs> you, you know, know what i mean right yeah like i was, I was on it yeah you just, you just <laughs> like people that are in your circle that like do you want the do you want something for free that you've got oh all the time and like that's what happened yesterday that's why i closed the deal because he wants it for free he wanted the contract for free yeah i already said i'd give him my cold call script and like uh some of my best pitches and like he could message me any other time yeah and he asked for the contract I was like yeah brother it's it's in the 30k close footage yeah. It's like that's 150. It's a lot right now. I was like, dude, let's make it work right now. It's yeah. not because like I want to like make the money because the money's like extra. That's it. It's but I already provided takes action. Yeah, providing value, and I know for a fact yeah. by him buying that, it's going to increase his sales skills. And if he doesn't find a value at all, which will not be true, yeah. I'll give him his money back. That's it. It's just an investment. It's just so he feels obligated to take action. Yeah, and yeah. like, do you know that? Like, shout out to Brad. Like. Kudos, that's how we closed the $4,500 client. He was actually the guy that, that sort of explained the whole situation to me that like... About how he charged, right? Yeah. Like at first, like I remember he said he sent the invoice um, and then I was like, oh, I thought like you were going to like hook it up for me. Like, cause like after we were talking for a bit, like you introduced us, like we had good talks and like, yeah. like just regular phone calls and they hit me with the invoice and I was like, wow. And he just sent me a voice, mo- voice note. He's like, if you want... I'll give it to you for free, not, not a problem at all, yeah. but I know you're not gonna take full action, that's why I charge you 100, how does that sound? And I was like, boom, done, paid, got the course, literally yeah. finished it in like two days, yeah. like th- two, three weeks later, bro, closed a client for $4,500. Yeah. Only be, honestly, that's only it. because I invested. That's it. Otherwise, I would have been like, I'll do this later, next yeah. week, next week, next week. That's it, yeah. Perceived value of value, bro. Exactly. <laughs>